It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at rage, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 249 pounds, fighting out of New Delhi, India, Nepal. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out oh and he connects with a punch there dc you like this guy i like this guy a ton and to watch a punch like this puts a smile on my face well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman Good. Keep the pressure on. big kick lands got the single collar tie And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. 
combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, big head kick. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything in the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Big kick land. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Boy, Ty Plump. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. He is all about that left kick to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Lands the right hand. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, what a punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. He engages in the single collar tie. Hang in there. Unable to land with that punch. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, is something you can't really prepare for. You can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Great punch landed with so much power. He blocks the punch. Kick to the body by Lee. Continues to mix it up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Misses with the right hand. Goes back to that left kick once again. Spinning back, this is there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. That punch, no good. Oh, nice call right hand. Try to establish that jab. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Straight right, he misses. Superman punch. Horn sound for the end of round one. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes, 
and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. What a punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Pretty good right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hook to the head blocked. Good stick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. The right hand just misses. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Right under the elbow, by the plan. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking touch. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Good punch land. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Able to land there with the straight left. Big head kick land. Nice kick. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Lee's knee strike there is blocked, so no damage inflicted. Nice punch lands over the top. Continues to eat power shots here. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Lunges forward with a left there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. They continue to exchange. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. And they separate. 
Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Beautiful strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Superman punch now. He blocks the shot. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Right hand upstairs. Big head kick lands. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the trip? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's doing a good job with his footwork and with his, with his traps and not following, but he's not really letting his hands go. He's trying to counter. you got to be first. And you're the guy that's dictating the center of the octagon. Nice kick there by you. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands with the right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go! Lee's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Spinning back fist. His uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, big punch land. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice straight punch there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice one, two there. Oh, big head kick lands. Punch over the top. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Look at the control and the posture as he land that knee. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, nice. Nice punch, Lance. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Throws the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Beautiful head kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this. Oh! Such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Able to check that kick as well. Look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give him. 
All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he just touches it over and over again. Back and forth we go. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Look at him chopping the wood. Wow! He's out! Tower, oh my goodness! What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 52 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would.